how did the Kamala Harris campaign team seeing what Amber Rose did and thought it'd been a good idea to do what Megan Thee did, even though Megan Thee had way more things to talk about than Amber Rose. If Megan Thee did something close to what Amber Rose did, it would have been more impactful. But instead, you use Megan Thee Stallion to pop it for Kamala, as she puts it. Right? Megan Thee Stallion did a performance at a Kamala Harris rally, right? She came out, performed these songs. Songs were vulgar. Songs was nasty lyrics. So nasty that a lot of times she was just standing there dancing because the lyrics of the song was not suited for the situation and event that she was at. So she couldn't say the lyrics. I guess the lyrics are so bad, there wasn't even a clean version of saying it in front of these people, right? She's performing these songs, and after performing these songs, or during the performing these songs, she gave a little twerk. Well, people seen this, and rightfully so, people felt a level of disrespect. Like, damn, this is how this administration sees me as a black woman. Or this is how this administration sees me. Instead of giving me information, or instead of giving me examples of how your viewpoint is now seen maybe a better direction for me. Instead of giving me information, you gave me entertainment. I don't need entertainment. I don't need to see Megan Thee Stallion doing that. This is where the Democrats and Kamala Harris campaign dropped the ball. So I mentioned that Megan Thee Stallion's father was locked up and she only had a certain amount of years with her father, right? I mentioned that. So now why not use that situation to talk about opportunities that could be done in inner cities? for people not to get into the life of crime and get locked up and be separated from their families. Take it to another level. Meg Thee Stallion graduated with a bachelor's in health administration. Also, Meg Thee Stallion's mom unfortunately passed away from a brain tumor in 2019. Why not speak about healthcare? Why not speak about the importance of healthcare? Why not speak about the importance of being healthy? Not to mention Meg Thee Stallion also have a partnership with Planet Fitness, not to mention Meg Thee Stallion also have a partnership with Nike. So Meg Thee Stallion show you videos of her working out. Meg Thee Stallion is one of the rare rappers in entertainment, especially at the level that she's at, without her body done. She shows that she works out. And you look at her body, you could tell that Meg Thee Stallion works out. So Meg Thee Stallion works out, got a partnership with Nike, a partnership with Planet Fitness, got a bachelor's in health administration, why the conversation was not about health, on how we need to be healthier. Or you want to bring it to health administration, you could have had the conversation about reproductive rights. Or instead, this campaign used you to twerk on stage. Shout out to Take Heed to the Message. She said something that was so profound. Check this out. Because as you being the elder woman, because you're the elder woman, we're supposed to protect the younger black women. I'm just saying, right? That's what we're supposed to do, right? But I believe you pimped her, Kamala. I believe you pimped her. That's what I believe. I believe you pimped her. And we always think it's okay to pimp the younger ones. So my problem is, is that this is what we think that's okay. And I know a lot of people gonna say, she just did a show, she just did a show, but the symbolism of this nonsense. We are designated as the world whore. Can you imagine? Black women, that's what you are. We are the go-to world's whore. Kamala Harris pimped you. I'm gonna leave Take Heed to the Message YouTube in the show notes so you guys can check out her channel. Great content, go live every day. She's consistent with it. Shout out to Take Heed to the Message. You let this campaign pimp you out. You have so much more to offer. We can keep going down the line. We talked about 
opportunities in the city so people won't be out there doing crime we talked about health care we talked about maybe reproductive right why not talk about domestic violence you went through a domestic violence situation with tory lanes tory lanes was found guilty on the charges of shooting you in the foot perhaps you don't want to go back to it but that still could have been a conversation to have about domestic violence i think using that as a conversation is better than quote unquote popping it for kamala as you put it you let these people use you now the appearance of you this thing of your accomplishments is going to be known because you wanted to pop it for kamala how did the kamala harris campaign team seen what amber rose did it thought it'd been a good idea to do what megan and Stallion did even though megan and Stallion had way more things to talk about than amber rose if Meg Thee Stallion did something close to what Amber Rose did, it would have been more impactful. But instead, you use Meg Thee Stallion to pop it for Kamala, as she puts it. I was popping it for Kamala. Right? That's what she said. I was popping it for Kamala. She put out there and said, I'm popping it for Kamala. You use that woman to do that, and it backfired. It backfired to the point that there are some people now saying they can't, they can't support Kamala Harris. We'll see what happened in November if that things change, if the Harris administration makes some changes, but people are now backing away from this. The message you put out there with Meg Thee Stallion, a college graduate, a woman who's an accomplished rapper, the message you put out there is popping it for Kamala. Let me know how you guys feel about this, man. I feel like this was a bad look on the Harris campaign. You have to admit when somebody you like dropped the ball. If Kamala Harris and Meg Thee Stallion dropped the ball, you have to admit it. And I'm not even, I'm putting more on Kamala Harris and her campaign than Meg Thee Stallion. Everybody's upset at Meg for doing what she, she was paid to do. And that's, you know, that's shake that big, big mother chocolate, beautiful hers. Now, um, stop getting mad at her. Get mad at the mother who hired her. Now, who hired her? She think she think this is what black women want to see at a mother political rally. That's why she hired her. She's trying to fill up the venue, which she did because it's a free concert, sold that for free. You know what I mean? And then I heard that the mayor got done, motherfucker leaving. They ain't even, you know, want to stay for here, McCalla, McCalla, or whatever the name is. The VP. That Meg this time got paid to do a gig. She got paid to do a gig, and she did her gig. You know what I'm saying? Meg the Stallion is already pro-Democrat. But as you can see right here with this image of Meg the Stallion with the Clintons, she's already pro-Democrat. She already put her line in the sand. If you came to Meg the Stallion and said, yo, Meg, we need you to speak about what greatness that Kamala Harris is, I think she would have knocked it out the park. But instead, you use her as a whore because you pimped her out. Shout out to Take Heed to the Message. Thank you for watching. This is a small clip of the Broken Traditions podcast. If you want to see the full episode or listen to the full episode, you can watch it on YouTube or you can listen to it on any audio podcast platform such as iHeartRadio, Spotify, and Apple Podcasts. Thank you.